For problem 27, let f be a differentiable function defined on the closed interval from a to b, and let c be defined on the open interval from a to b, such that the derivative evaluated at the point c of the function is equal to zero, the derivative is positive for x values between a and c, and the derivative is negative for x values between c and b. Which of the following statements must be true? So before we take a look at those statements, let's first make a little bit of space and try and get a better idea of what we have here. So the first statement tells us that the derivative evaluated at point C is equal to zero. So if we had some function, some random function, the derivative essentially just tells us what the slope of the tangent line would be at any given point. So we know that at this point C, the derivative is equal to zero. And so what that tells us is, is that the slope of the tangent line at that point is equal to zero, or essentially we have a tangent line that's horizontal to the graph. So that would be more like this point here with a horizontal tangent line or something like this point here. Now the next piece of information tells us that between the points A and C, that the slope of the tangent line is positive. So for that to be true, that would look something like this, where the slope of this tangent line at any given point on this interval is going to be positive. Whereas for this last piece of information, between the points C and B on the interval, the slope of our tangent line is negative. So that's going to be a situation maybe like this. So if we combine all of this information, let's say we have from A to B, and let's say this is point C, we know that our function either reaches a maximum or a minimum at that point C since, since the derivative is equal to zero at point C. And we know that the slope of our tangent line is positive between A and C. So our function will probably look something like that because we have a slope of our tangent line that's positive. And we know from point C to point B that the slope of our tangent line is going to be negative. So that's probably something like that because if you drew a tangent line, that slope or that derivative is a negative value. And this essentially leads us to the conclusion that at point C we have a maximum value because again the slope of the tangent line there is zero or it's essentially we have a horizontal tangent line. So now knowing what our function kind of looks like on this interval we can actually answer the following questions. So which of these statements must be true? And I'll just quickly redraw what we drew above. We know the derivative at point C is equal to zero, but we don't know anything about the function at point C. So we don't have enough information to determine if A is true. For letter B, do we know whether or not the second derivative at C is equal to zero? And we weren't explicitly told this. And also what this means graphically is that there would be an inflection point at C if the second derivative would be equal to zero and an inflection point looks something like this, this point here. And we don't have that in our graph, so that's not true. F of C is an absolute maximum on that interval and we can see that that is true because the derivative from A to C is positive, so this has to have a positive slope and the derivative from C to B is negative, so this would have a negative slope for the tangent line. So this is true, and we know it's not a minimum because it can't be both a maximum and a minimum. And letter E is very similar to letter B. We know that for there to be an inflection point, the second derivative at that point has to be zero, and we were not told anything about that. So the final answer for this is letter C.